DK Jungle, where dreams are made and souls can be crushed. Home runs galore in this game, folks. I've seen the future. It's going to happen. Uh, DK Jungle, man, it's a crazy stadium. It's so small, so a lot of these home run hitters are going to go yaya. Yeah, yeah. uh, we got Andrew. We got Cox. They're battling it out. I'm Jason. You're Dennis. You're uh, you, the lovely audience, who's probably on lunch or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see this game. It's it's an interesting draft that I've seen uh, take place before my eyes. Uh, you had commented on something earlier. We might see with Andrew's team here who is batting. He has Bowser Jr. behind Bowser, the big man himself. And Bowser's pretty late into this order, too. Yeah, uh, we he's have he's chilling at four. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember the old meta was, you guys are crazy for putting Bowser 1, Bowser 2. It's just like, well, now you want Bowser to get as many bats as you possibly can because yeah. he gets walked a lot as well, so too. So we'll see uh, We'll see what happens here. Because if you land this egg Ooh. in second and third, you have the base open for Bowser. Just walk him. Right? See, yeah, we were kind of talking about that. Like, oh, you could just walk Bowser and not really care because it's not Bowser Jr. But that's a tough double play. Yeah. But with it being DK Jungle, Bowser Jr. with Kem, all of a sudden, little stock might up. go yeah yeah. Might a go yeah yeah. Yeah, I uh, I I'm not a huge Bowser Jr. fan for charge swings, but you know what? Uh, I almost always pick Mario Stadium or Peach's Garden, uh, and I really don't like charging with these uh, kind of mid charges. Just go for the slap hit. That's what I always go. I get that for sure. I, I like Bowser Jr.'s bat well enough. The slap hit. Yeah. I like. Um, I hold up with it mm -hmm. so it goes low. Mm -hmm. Because um, he has good, like, good power, right? So a lot of time I fly out to the outfielder, so I hold up so it, it drops a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. And I find it's pretty nice. He's got a good reach. I just, man, the fielding with him. He's so slow. Yeah. It's like he's got a wall jump, but like... He's so slow, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, it's like... You're, no sliding catch either, a so... Lot of, a lot of the times when you're taking Bowser Jr., if there's still, like, Luigi on the table, it's like, Luigi has a long bat reach, Luigi's faster, Luigi also has super jump and wall jump. It's just, you know, and, ha and yeah. has a better star hit as well, too. So, you know, it's almost always, I think, a better move to pick Luigi. But this is the thing with this with this season, is that when you play your opponents... Oh, oh baby! But Luigi! Luigi! Yes! Oh, baby! Luigi saying, that's why you pick... Andy, that's why dude, you pick me. He heard us. We were hyping him up. We were tooting his horn, and he said, "Dude, give me on that solo." And uh, yeah, that's a great wall jump. It saves a run here. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's not always easy to be hitting those wall jumps on uh, not Mario Stadium. There's no warning track to be like holding your hand on when to press the A button. Mm -hmm. That was dink, but it was low. Mm -hmm. Were you someone that uh, had their hand held when you used to cross the street? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember my childhood. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I uh, I still have my hand held when I'm crossing the street. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because anytime like an old person's crossing the street, you got to like, oh, <laughs> help you. Yeah, ex Please. it's exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had groceries the other day. And I was looking around for someone to help, and no, no one helped me. It's a shame. <laughs> These youngsters, this generation, never helped their elders uh, carry their groceries. It, it really is a shame. You know, our generation built the foundation to what we have now, which is <laughs> not literally <laughs> the foundation, bro. You were out there. Pouring like molten lava. Yeah. I was gonna say cement. They hadn't invented cement yeah. yet. Yeah. Ooh, sneaks yeah. through the gap there between uh shortstop and third. It's a it's a devious spot to hit the ball, and it's very frustrating when somebody hits that against you. Let's see if he can capitalize. No, he cannot. <laughs> Tough. Wacky base running there. I, I I like it. I mean, granted it was a force at every single base, yeah. but it, it did make Coax, I think, think for half a second. I mean Andrew think for half a second, so. Getting his head. All right, Andrew stepping up to the plate. He's got red toad. I love Huge hit. I, Huge I hit. I think that was a catch. I think he dove a little bit late. I do too. I think sliding catch would have got there yeah. uh, much earlier had we pressed the A. But you know what? That we're getting off a nice leadoff single. Man in scoring position with Pianta, which again, this stadium is super small. So, you know, this ball is going to go out in a hurry. Let's see if we can sink one. He's rocking the lefty bat too. It's got better contact zone. So you hit the ball nice a little bit more often like that. But you got to swing early. You got to pull. Pull with Pianta. Got to pull that ball. It is, so, it is so hard to charge swing with Pianta and stars on because it just, it just feels like you got to just guess yeah. super early. Same deal with Petey. Same deal with those yeah. pull hitters, right? Pull means you swing early. Uh, when stars on and the pitching is, is amped up in speed, it's so tough. It's you're, so tough. You're already kind of guessing a little bit because you have less reaction time, but mm. you got to even guess and swing earlier. It, it, it's hard to do, but you know what? We're stars off, so... Much easier. Much, much easier. And we have 
bones here with stars. I like the lefty on lefty with the boot pitcher. It's just much harder to throw that ball off the plate to him. Yep. Because you pretty much just, you know, inside contact for stars really doesn't matter that no. much. Nice, really nice part about line drive star swing, right? Green bones, Toadsworth, Magikoopa, uh, Green Power Koopa. Is the contact is whatever. Yeah. You just time it nicely. It'll go through the gap and uh, pretty much be a double like yeah. all the time. It's so good. Yeah, the good thing about throwing inside to, you know, the star swing is that it does sometimes go a little bit lower, but uh, it can mess with the timing a little bit because you're like, oh, I have to. Ooh. Oh, wow, the barrel's hitting. We might even be able to bring Toadsworth around to third yes, base. Sir. We're going to. Yes, sir. And uh, that's these barrels, man. They, uh, they make singles into triples. Crazy! It is insane, yeah. And uh, those those floater hits like that, they're pretty they're pretty devious. Mm -hmm. Gives the barrels a little bit of extra time to work to cook up something dastardly. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what, can we get this run home? We need to get a single here. A little too Not high. Not gonna do it unless. Nah, no barrel. I I I love DK Jungle because I feel like the only time you really get hits you shouldn't is when you push that ball on like charge swings into that like left center right center field mm. gap where it hits the barrel. Almost everything else you're not getting extra singles because like you're not getting hits because of the barrels. Like with with uh, with with Boshi Park, you know that plant can take foul balls, foot yeah. and fair, get yeah. more hits. Right, Peaches Gardens, those blocks hit them fall in front. Barrels, it's like the ball's already landed. You've already fielded it. Then the barrel comes, and then you're like, oh, sorry. Like, right here. There is, oh. there, is, there is times, of course, you know, where it's like, I'm going to catch this ball, but there's a barrel in my path. Yes. So, I, you know, it's not 100%, but I think definitely more than other stadiums. A little, stadiums bit, lo that little these, bit lower than other stadiums. These hazards are more so like, well, you know what? You landed the ball, I'm going to reward you. Mm. For sure. Whereas, like, Warrior, it's like, oh, I hit it into the tornado. Now yeah. there's a 3% exactly. chance that uh, everyone on my team scores five times. Ha, ha, ha. Exactly. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you there. Uh, Berto up here with a star chance. We're out. Ooh. And uh, we have not been able to get on with the Berto star. 0 for 2 with it, wasting it as well. And that's yeah. the thing with the Berto star is, like, you know, it's either all or nothing. And, you gotta. Uh, yeah, it's really, like... Your game hinges on your performance with yeah. the Birdo star. And, and it's also because she bats so high in the lineup, right? Yeah. So, like, you have to pretty much use a star where someone like maybe Donkey Kong. Oh, baby! Can Are we there? Again? Are we there? Yeah, We're we gone! He can't Nina Pinta Santa Maria! Dry Bowser! Home run! Solo We're, home run. We were too busy talking about Birdo. We should have been uh, warming up the band for Luigi so he could toot his horn a little bit more, but instead he's eating dirt. And that's, that's kind of on us, man. We yeah. let him down. That ball out be quick. That was a very fast home run and uh, great stuff there. Uh, but I, I agree with everything you're saying about yeah. Birdo. I think it's, ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. I think it's a very pivotal character. You need to be producing every single time yep. at the plate. Yeah. And you know what? Like, like characters like Mario and DK, maybe people who are not as on with them, um, you don't need the star to get on base. Yeah. Their, their bat is just much, much, much better than Birdo. So, um, oh, and that ball is high. It is in the gaps. I think we're going to be underneath it, right? Yep. Yes, we are. Great play from Green Amin to Noki, keeping Bowser Jr. at first. And now, I don't know what you want to do. Do you want to extend the inning to move your heavy? Or maybe do you want to go for a nice little cheap home run? <laughs> We're charging. It's Andy. You know what he's doing. Yeah, I, I would definitely go for the slappy. I mean, Toad Bat is just so consistent with singles. Yeah. Um, I tried to get Pianta to go Yakko for three. But hey, I don't hate it. I'd love to see a Toad home run. Thank you very much. Bobble over the wall. Oh, Bobble! Bobble, Bobble over the wall. All right. Well, it went the wrong way. I, I, I willed half of it into existence. I yeah. tried my best. I'm really up on Noki uh, as of late. Big mm -hmm. Noki fan. Uh, you know, the sliding catch, the speed, the star hit. Uh, she's got a lot. She's, she's like decently big too. She's the same size as Pianta. Yeah. Um, I'm, hitbox wise. Yeah. So. I, I've been starting to put uh, Minta Noak uh, right handed. Uh, mm -hmm. against right-handed pitching. Yeah. And uh, just, you know, to, to limit, you know, not being able to throw off the plate that much. Because the thing is, is I feel like every time I ever have Noki on my team, it's basically I'm versing like a murderer's row at shortstop and third base where it's like either a Yoshi or it's a Birdo or yeah. it's a Mad, right? And it's just like, I just don't want to push this ball to left field. I don't want to use a star because it could double play. Throw him right-handed. And that's why I love Bones as well. Nice versatile, yeah, hand in this swap there. It's a great part about line drive is because like, who cares about your contact quality? Exactly. It doesn't matter. Yep. You just I want mean, to get it away from the you field. You time it, and you're good. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're aiming at the worst part of the field, you get a little bit of wiggle room. Yes. It it's very, very nice. I, I think um, I find myself kind of leaning towards characters where um, I just have to time it consistently, where it's like I don't really care what your pitch you're throwing. If I do 
if I play my game plan, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Look at that right there. This actually might end up being a single. Oh, I thought we had it. I thought we had it. I did too. That was a nice, nice throw by DK. That strong arm in the infield. So, dude, DK is like such a weirdly good middle infielder, you yeah. know? Because it's like he doesn't have sliding catch. He just has a good dive range. Yeah. Could you imagine DK with sliding catch? <laughs> I mean, just take away <laughs> Clamber and give him sliding catch? Oh, my filth. Oh, gosh. Uh, That'd be insane. This is where uh, Barrel could really do some damage. Uh, and we're going to maybe get a double play here. No, wow. we're not. Not able to get it, even with the fast yeah, throw. Yoshi, Yoshi just too fast, man. Nine speed makes a big difference. He legs that one out. Scores the run. It's a 3-0 ball game for uh, Andrew. Mm-hmm. And then we're going for the charge. <laughs> and we're not even using that star swing. I love it. And the barrel. Not going to impact the play. Dude. But this is this is what we were talking about. You know you know what's going to happen right here. Cox is thinking. And uh, I'm shocked he's pitching there. But you know what? It's a <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's sitting with the ball. He's like, you got to get yeah. this out. Dude, we've seen Birdo charge popping off lately. Yes, we have. for two with the stars, one for one with the charge. That's crazy. And, and now we're not charging. I don't get it. Uh, Andrew, on? I don't get it. I mean, what's going I, don't, on? I don't get it. Charging. I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused, man. I, he just believes in the slap hit, I suppose, but I think it's a mistake. It's, it's, it's like, why did you put Bowser Jr. behind that? I, I don't get it. But you know what? I'm not Andrew, and you're, you're not. not Andrew. You'll and never you guys, calculate. And if you guys want to ask Andrew a question, uh, I will comment down below and speak for Andrew. Uh, so, <laughs> so leave your comment down below. I'll pretend to be Andrew. Dude, if you want to talk to Andrew and ask him questions, join the Mario Superstar Baseball Discord. Link is down below. He won't read or answer you, but we will, and we'll tell him. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll tell him. We'll tell him. <laughs> Luigi's going to uh, tell Andrew, you should have picked me here. Uh, we're going to have a strong throwing arm at shortstop. Well, Get me out done. real quick. Two quick outs for Cox. Really hasn't been able to put anything there together. You go. But that's what you want here. You're hoping a barrel could take out Moshi. Uh-oh. Oh, he'd be out, but, you know. Yeah. Just a little too little too. Little just bit. gets the throw off. Yeah, and Boo lands on first. Oh, Ooh, sourdough barrel? with PD. Barrel? It's coming, but it's way too late, and it's, it's too high up. Unfortunate stuff there for Cox. He's having trouble getting on base, or he's only got four hits so far through five innings. Yeah, you know, we haven't been getting the leadoff hitter on base, but, you know, we still have stars here, and it's a great chance to win one. We're going to get to four. I hate Andrew. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not, it's like we pick a small park, and then we're not charging. But he'll charge with Toad. Watch. He'll charge, I said he'll charge with Toad. Yeah! <laughs> and he said, okay. <laughs> he never said he was going to swing, though. Why'd well, you charge your toad, idiot? Dude, like, look at this. He's, he's going to slap it with Pianta now. <laughs> no, I, I He should have slapped it slap. with Pianta. <laughs> slap is so cursed. Yeah. That was actually pretty good timing by Andrew. It looked like a good part of the bat, but it got low trash yeah. right, at, uh, right at Red Madge. And now we have a star swing. Nice. I, I absolutely, Beautiful. I love this star swing on this field. And we're getting. We're getting wall splat. Splat. This is bro. such a slow throw. Oh my gosh. If there was no laser character, yeah, that, for we sure a home run. Yeah, scoring. for sure a home run with no laser character there. And now we got bro up. This could even be a sack fly. Just don't hit it low. What did I tell you? <laughs> that was a late that was a late charge. It was. He had uh, the white trail instead of the yellow. Yeah. Because of that. Ooh. Oh, just foul. I'm surprised we're not charging here as well. Just misses in two spots. I think after that. Oh last no! One, he, he got switched before he before he sucked. That's tough. I really thought that was caught. I think after getting the low trage with bro, he's like, dude, I'm just slapping. Let yep. me get this out there. Yep. Which I totally understand. Huge hit. Nice stuff. Perfect star use. First and second. Cox is saying, I'm mounting a comeback. We have chemistry. We have stars. We have Waluigi. That nice. ball is laced through the left side of the field. Base is oh, oh, no. Shot, bro. Oh, oh, no. You got to trigger. Gotta trigger a little snap flew on the uh, base path there. Tough stuff. He's trying to play a little tricky, and I like yeah. that. I respect that. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Listen. Would have been a double play anyway, right? Yes, it would have. So you just it's chalk okay. it to that. <laughs> it, it, it's a two-run ball game. He, we have one star to two. Lefty on lefty, and uh, I, 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 listen. I'm so happy that more people are picking Green Bones, man. I love him so much. I know he's not a great fielder, but he's not awful, right? So, yeah. I, I just, I, I can't play him in the outfield, man. I can't do it. Yeah. If I needed a like middle infielder. 
and somehow there were no good options out of the other oh, like, no. five good ones, I'd, I might pick Bones. And we might be able to score this run. Yeah, we're scoring base. for sure. Yeah, 100%. Wow. And now that's the thing. You know, Barrel makes it from first and second to second and a run and score. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. That's a nice part about those uh, little pop-outs. You know, those little nice slappies to the... Uh, Outfield like that. Yeah. Once they land, it's barrel. It's barrel territory, yep. man. And like I said, I, I, like with DK Jungle, you're getting rewarded for landing more hits. So it's like if you out hit your opponent, I feel like a lot of times those barrels are just helping you score those runs a little bit, a little bit more. Ooh, nice. So it's like, egg. oh my gosh, off the top left part of the wall, we're advancing to second, mm -hmm. and uh, this leaves you the this leaves you the base open to pretty much either do what you want and be I'm gonna pitch to to Bowser or uh, I'm not. Let's see what Cokes decides to do here. It's a four-run game. We are still one swing of the bat if we are Cokes. And we're pitching. <laughs> yeah. he's, Andrew is absolutely locked in. He's laced every single ball to right field. He's either gotten low trash, the home run, the wall jump. Yeah, walk him. Walk him. It's smart move by Cokes. Yeah, you know. I and we're going to charge here, right? <laughs> he's charging, yes! <laughs> Let's go. He's got the Ken, man. I he think does. it's a good call. I, he just I, has to make good contact. I am, I agree because at the end of the day, there's a barrel too. So, so two one count here. King Boo up next, and that is nice. absolutely brilliant. That is in left center. We might be able to bring Browser home. No, good throw. Laser. Yep. Second and third. King Boo up. That was a great hit. And now you slap it like a like a crazy person. <laughs> Why, man? Why? You? Oh! Uh, you know what? Oh no! It was oh, the best no! slap Luigi, of all no! time. I take back everything I've ever said. King Boo slap it is the best hit ever. <laughs> into the Gariel to get a star. Into the barrel to send Luigi to the atmosphere. He gets a triple. That's crazy. Oh man, you know, if you Close. charge with King Boo and it goes over, sure you get one extra run, you don't get the star, and Toad's getting the home the, the run here anyway. Andrew's big brain, man. He's a, he's thinking three steps ahead. We're he playing checkers, out. he's playing chess. He calc it out, that's all I'm saying. Nice. Nine run one scored ball there. game. Yeah, run scored. Nine one ball game for uh Andy here, and uh you know, time is ticking. You only got three innings to work with if you are uh Little cokes. You know, technically time is always ticking. Yeah, no, true. It, right? uh, except if you're not near a clock, because then you don't hear the ticks. Yep. If a clock ticks in the forest and no one's around to hear it, does time really pass? Nope. No. Nope. You heard it here first. He on the charge. Out. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 13 to 8 hits. I mean, that's only a 5 a difference, but an 8 run difference. That's a, that's a lot of runs. You know, Cokes has not really been rewarded too much by the barrels. Um, but, you know, he also hasn't been able to get his lead off hitter on base. So, you know, he's getting on base when there's like, it's hard to get, you know, score. Like, we're getting great, great, great hit. But there was an out. So it's much more harder to score runs uh, when there are outs. You know, your outs are precious. You know, you want to have as many of them as you can save and use. Um, oopsies. Little oopsies there um, with PD. He's got to be looking to go Yakko. Yeah. It's a great, great pull hit. It, it was low trage, unfortunately, but... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Great. Okay. He made okay. it. Oh, wow. Dude, he got into that situation where both of his runners were off, and you could tell he was kind of uh, brain scrambled. Yep. Beautiful hit. Beautiful Absolutely hit. Absolutely filthy hit. Maybe that barrel, that barrel was so close to hitting him. Yeah. Nice stuff. But, uh, yeah, he gets out of that, luckily. And I think uh, a big part of this, kind of what we're saying with him, starting with one out, is that he's had a bad time with, like, cycling his lineup properly. Yeah. In my head, whenever I'm playing this game, I have, like, checkpoints yes. in my lineup where, like, I want to start with this character. I want to start with this yes. character. It's like, I need to I need to push, get some hits here so I can extend to that character at least. Yep. Because if I don't, I'm just kind of, like, SOL, you know? Yeah. And, it's, and I think it's why you see, at least in stars off, so many clusters of scores. You know, it's yeah. like you don't really see one, one, one. You see like two. Oh, blank for two. Three. Boy. Blank for two. This is big. This is big here. We don't have stars, unfortunately. Huge hit. He hits a nice wow. slap hit to score a run. Keep the base He's out again. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's, uh, oh, he did oh, it. He's, he's, got him. Him. he's tricked him. He's tricked him. Coke saying, I know this game from inside out. Good stuff. Is <laughs> it chanting tech here? So if you have zero stars, with certain characters like Waluigi, power, uh, balance characters, and speed characters. Ooh. Tough. Should have teched. Should have teched. Or um, 
sorry, rather technique characters mm -hmm. and speed characters. If you have no stars, you hold the star swing button and charge. It gives you like a power boost. It's so weird. It's what it's fun. actually doing, it averages out your slap power hit and your charge power mm -hmm. hit. So those types of characters have lower charge power than slap power. So Waluigi, he has one charge power and like 45 or 50 uh, slap power. Mm -hmm. So when you average those, it gives him a huge boost. In his charge power. The thing that's fun with the uh, the tech character is that you're not pulling it, you're pushing it. So it makes yeah. it a little bit more difficult too, because you know, with almost every power hitter besides like King Boo and Boomerang Bro, uh, you're pulling almost every ball. Whereas with the technique characters like Mad, you're pushing that ball right down of, that yeah, line. A lot of the characters with the tech have push trajectory. So they want to be hitting it late, which is a, a big advantage for the batter as well. It, it's it's better than mid trajectory time. too. Yeah. Um, better than mid, right? Because you get a, a boost to your power when yes. you hit to those sides. Whereas mid is just neutral across the board. Pull characters, you see so many prominent ones, right? Bowser, DK, uh, PD, Pianta. They all have pull, so when they swing early, it goes crazy. When they push, it's a little weak, little pop out. Mm -hmm. um, very interesting. But yeah, push is so much better for home runs. I wish there was a, like a prevalent push home run hitter besides Boomerang, bro. Yeah. Who isn't push. <laughs> yeah. He's still pull. Yeah, no. He's still pull. But you could just swing late, which is nice. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be really cool. Like, you know, give Bowser would. Jr. a push. That'd be fun. He deserves it. That'd be fun. You know, then I'd get putting him behind Bowser. I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'm in. Yeah. All right. And uh, he's trying to get something together here, Coax. Mm -hmm. I mean, five run deficit's not impossible. Mm -hmm. But you know who deserves the uh, push trajectory? The members. The members are on screen Dude, right now. Not Become right now. They've already been on screen. They've been on screen. Yeah, we dropped the ball. Yeah, we dropped it before. Ah, you know how it goes. But, but you were on screen. You were there. there. I remember. I saw it. Ooh, I, I, I crossed them up. I saw a member, uh, Riley Jane. That's a good member. Yeah, he's a great member. Huge member. Great member. Yeah, yeah. Big fan, big fan. And, um, you know, if you guys are big fans, consider becoming a member down below. Like the video, it helps us out a ton. We're walking Bowser, not surprised. He's got Bowser Jr. has no push trajectory. No push. Yo, so me push. He's still going to hit it. I trust. We got this. We got I this. I trust in, in the BJ. Oh, is there a barrel, though? Ooh, no barrel. Shouldn't have trusted Andrew's BJ. I never trust Andrew. You know, he's a little little snake in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was any Dinger City member to like slither in the grass and you'd be like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just slithering. Oh, in the I grass. am slithering, you know. It's Andrew. Totally Andrew, I agree. He's, he's going for the charge. He's changed his ways. He's an idiot. He should have slapped. He would have gotten a triple. Would have cleared the bases. What's your spear animal? Uh, I don't know. I'm a I think I'm a minotaur. That's not an animal. Could be. I guess. You know, the ocean is so unexplored. There could be minotaurs at the bottom of there the ocean. There could be. You know, they get trapped in mazes. Like, maybe the Marianas Trench is really, like, the labyrinth that the minotaurs are in. Ooh. And once they solve the maze, it's over. It's so over. Full count. First and second. We're, We're stealing. stealing. Good. I love it. I, I love this idea. And uh, we're, we're pushing this runner home. We're safe. Yeah. I love the throwback to first base. I do, too. Yeah. I do, too. Try to catch him. Try to catch him running. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Great steal. Yeah. yeah. That's how you do it. And uh, listen, this inning is not over it, just because there's two outs. Yeah. Oh, does it does not mean anything. Now it's tech. over. Now it's tech. over. Tech. He doesn't have it. <laughs> yeah. He thinks he does, though. <laughs> Oh boy. That's the worst thing about the classics is that I've learned the hard way that, that they don't have it. It would yeah. be so much nicer if they did. He's still got Kem though. 3 0 count here up the base. It's I'm loaded. Scared, bro. I'm scared. Oh. That actually was pretty pretty good. 3 1 counter. You have to throw a strike. We're charging putters off the plate, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. All right, we're six runs away. Only a three hit difference. That is, yeah. it's just like you said, we have not, like, this is not the guy you want up exactly. leading off your inning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! Voulez vous cocher avec moi, pita? Home run! Nice stuff. Nice stuff there from Coax. Hits that perfect dinky over the right field wall. And uh, listen, five run ball game. Huge. <laughs> the meatball. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Three. Oh, you know what it is? We stacked three heavies in a row. Ooh! Oh, baby! Does he catch this? He does! Oh, no way! Yes! 
Bowser Jr. <laughs> Andrew saying shoot a pick Luigi. Should you know what, Luigi. Andrew? You're right. You were wrong. You're right. Yeah, and that is the game, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you guys next time. Dinger City out. Kisses.